To talk about the Jaguar Corridor, we really have to talk about the history. You know, the traditional way of conservation back in the 70s, 80s, you focused on a particular landscape, a core population, and you stayed right there, and that was it. Why don't we think bigger? That all changed in 2010. Eleanor Benowitz and Kathy Zeller developed a new approach to conservation. If you have these core populations of jaguars, how do you connect those? So they used a model that was developed at the time called least cost path. So that transfer of genetic material creates a higher survival potential through the entire range of the jaguar. Thus was born the Jaguar Corridor, the idea that we need connectivity from the northern part of the range in Arizona to the southern part of the range in Argentina. Any one of these corridors is a human-dominated landscape. Look at what the threats are. So what do we do? We go in and apply all of those tools that we know will work. We assess the protected areas. We develop with community the training, the equipment to be able to do that. To make sure that there are places where jaguars can go through. So that transfer of genetic material happens. This is the Jaguar Corridor Initiative. The largest conservation idea for a single species any place on the globe. It now has been adopted by the UNDP Roadmap for Jaguar Conservation. It's a story of hope. We have the chance to be able to put together connectivity for one of the most majestic, one of the most powerful species in the world.